Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Amy. And I'm Sarah. And today we're going to be discussing Where You Belong by Stacey Williams. The first few minutes, we're going to do a brief review of the story without any spoilers. Then we are going to shift into a deeper discussion that's going to include lots of spoilers. But don't worry, we're going to let you know before we do shift into that deeper book discussion. That's right. So before we jump in, Amy, tell us what the story is all about. A chance encounter on an elevator forces a professional football star and a quiet songwriter to work together to dispel a negative press frenzy in this fast-paced, delightful football romance. Sarah, what did you think about Where You Belong? I was just... Uh, I I don't even know how to describe all the feelings I was feeling. Stacey Williams is a new author to me. Me too. And um, this story just had so much heart. It had so much depth. I felt like I feel like sometimes with football stories, they can have a lot of depth or they can be on the little bit, a little more lighter side. Mm -hmm. And and so this whole thing, the whole story, the whole time I just kept thinking there's just so much to it. There was like, do you there know was what I'm nice, saying? There was a nice, rich like, depth. To yes. It. it was just, I was in love with the characters and their stories. And um, I loved watching them grow as friends and fall in love. I, I was here for the story. It oh, was me so too. good. Me too. It starts with a little bit of an enemies to lovers yeah, feel to it. A little bit it. of vibe. Uh, I enjoyed, there's a really heavy fam- family dynamic mm-hmm. in this story as well. And the enemies to lovers that I mentioned is kind of from her perspective. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a running joke <laughs> as it goes yes. on. And uh, one of the other things I have to say um, that I was just, I was very pleasantly surprised um, because this author takes a little turn that you yes, uh, do not see coming. There's a little twisty twist. Yeah, and I was <laughs> I was really excited about that because I did not see that happening. Same. So. All right, let's get into our ratings. Okay. Angst. Angst. This was just a one for me. Same. Yeah. It wasn't overly mm-hmm. angsty. There's some components, but nothing that you're just like. Oh. It's not over the top for sure. Right. Humor. Humor. It was like a one. Same. Like I, I, I kind of battle between one to 1.25, but I've, I, I stay, I was, I'll stick with a one. There's I think like was. A, some humor sprinkled throughout. There's a couple over. of characters. Yeah. Yeah. Like, especially later on, there's a character <laughs> that brings some humor and stuff. Oh, and, oh. and the male, uh, uh, excuse me, the female character, she is, uh-huh. she's funny. Agree. All right. Spiciness. Curious um, to see what you're going to say here. It was a 0.25. Okay, I gave it a zero. Yeah, it was, I felt <laughs> like that was clean. generous. Very clean. There's some kissing. There's some kissing and... Flirty banter. Yeah, but they, I mean, it's everything's off page. For, yes, absolutely. Um, it, what, it, anything that does transpire, transpires off page, but... Um, if you're looking for a clean romance, this would be a it is one a to pick up. It is a perfect clean romance, but it, like... It just, doesn't lose anything. No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> there, I don't know. I have no words. It's gritting your gritting your teeth. Yeah. All right. Tears. Uh, tears. It was a two for me. Okay. Um, because of some of the things that the characters are dealing with and they go through that they have been through. So I did one. The, there are characters that endure some hardships in their yeah. life and their childhoods were not great. And right. so some of the storyline does have a little bit of a heavy component to yes. it. Yes. And I did not cry. I Me have neither. to be clear. I did yeah. not cry, but I feel like some of the... Just the weight of some of the things yeah, they deal with. It's just kind of br- yeah. brought the tears. Sad. Yes. It, yeah. it, it, hurt, it makes your heart sad. All right. Drum roll overall. This was a five. It was a five. It was a five. I, I cannot. Five. <laughs> I I cannot wait to read more from this author. I I loved it. I I just I was so happy the whole time I was reading it. Even in the parts where I was just like, oh, it, it was, was just... a fast, easy read. Mm-hmm. It, I couldn't put it down. Basically, I read the story in twenty four hours, yeah. more or less. I love the male main character so much. He's the sweetest, and this really is a sweet friends to lover story. Mm-hmm. I said it has enemies to lovers, but that's more or less at the top of the book. Yeah. And then the more you get into it, it does transfer into friends it's, to lovers. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, the most wonderful friends to lovers story. It was just... It was just the palate cleanser that I needed. It was perfect. It was one of those books that you pick up and you're like, yes. Yeah. I have been needing this story. Yeah. It was so good. I loved it. (laughs) All right. That concludes this spoiler free quick review of this story. If you would like to continue the deeper discussion with us, simply click the link below or open any podcast platform and search post book depression. Then we would love to connect with you on social media. You can find us on our Instagram at post book depression podcast on Facebook in our post book depression discussion group. You can also email us at post book depression podcast at gmail.com.